Today we're in Studio 30D in Broadcasting House, which is where we're building an experimental radio studio as part of the Orpheus project. Listening habits are changing quite rapidly. A lot more people are listening on demand and using very powerful devices like mobile phones. BBC R&D wants to ensure that the BBC can deliver the experiences these new technologies enable. We've been working closely with colleagues in radio design and engineering to provide a now, next, later approach to audio production facilities. Welcome to the eighth floor of New Broadcasting House. This is the home for Radio 1, Radio 1 Extra and BBC Asian Network. This is a typical patch bay that you'll find in any eighth floor studio. The only IP technology we currently utilise is at the point of distribution. Already we're running out of the flexibility to deliver the more and more complex programmes we're being asked to produce. We are in the Internet Fit Radio Prototype Studio. This is a studio which looks and feels very much like a traditional radio studio. However, under the hood we've got IP technology. Increasingly the industry is moving towards a more IP-centric future. This studio allows us to have a test bed that we can put new kit in to bring people in to try it out and see how it works. This studio is using a similar internet-based technology to the studio next door. The thing we're doing differently here is we're also including a lot of data with the audio for object-based broadcasting. So what that means is instead of mixing everything down in the studio, what we do is send all of the individual bits that make up a program. So that means you can individually tailor each mix to someone's device, their location, maybe some accessibility requirements, or maybe even their interests. What you started off seeing today was an example of the state of the art in operational radio studios. The second example was a traditional radio studio, but driven using IP technology. And this studio is all about creating object-based audio from scratch and being natively object-based throughout the whole broadcast chain.